Chapter 10 of The Mandalorian, titled The Passenger, was a fun ride, so let's get right into my review. Now in the episode, we pick up back on Tatooine, where we see that the Mandalorian and the child are still being hunted by bounty hunters. They manage to get the drop on the Mandalorian as he travels back to Mos Eisley. Fortunately, the Mandalorian and the child come through the ambush unscathed, where the Mandalorian is able to pick up a job ferrying a lady lizard in her eggs. In exchange for safe passage, she will reveal to the Mandalorian the location of another Mandalorian enclave. It seems like a simple mission unfortunately turns far more complicated as the Mandalorian becomes entangled with New Republic X-Wing fighters, and then once crash landing on the moon, Din Djarin, the child, and the frog lady are all attacked by a horde of spiders. Now near the end of this episode, the suspense was so high, I kept asking myself how exactly are they going to get out of this? I mean, with the lizard lady, the child, and Din Djarin all crammed into the cockpit of the Razor Crest, surrounded by a horde of mini spiders and a giant spider on top of the Razor Crest, it seemed unlikely that they were going to escape. My first thought was that they were actually going to be rescued by Mandalorians, especially at the end when we start to see the blaster fire, but we can't see who's actually doing the shooting. But of course, we now know that the episode sort of comes full circle, and the, and the fact that the X-Wing pilots drove the Razor Crest into a crash, but are now rescuing them from this horde of spiders. And in the end, I love the interaction between the Mandalorian and the New Republic X-Wing pilots. It really connected this show to its Western roots. Since the New Republic pilots let Din Djarin go, even though there was a warrant out for his arrest. They cited the fact that going back to season one, he had actually fought to protect one of their New Republic brothers. And to me, this felt very Western because it seemed like the sheriff and the marshal were passing judgment on the outlaw, basically saying that he wasn't all bad. Of course, it was great to see Dave Filoni return as Trapper Wolf, even though he didn't have many lines. But what was really fascinating about this episode is its connection to Ralph McQuarrie. As part of his Star Wars concept art, he drew a similar looking spider and in that image we can see the little eggs that show up in the Mandalorian and it's just amazing to see Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni going back to this original concept art from Ralph McQuarrie and bringing it to life in a new way. I say in a new way because of course we've seen very similar spiders in Star Wars Rebels. That said I also thought the running gag of Baby Yoda eating the eggs was absolutely hilarious and overall this episode just felt like we were getting back to the root of the Mandalorian show with Din Djarin and the child on a smaller scale mission. But hey Star Wars fans, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I'm Mike, thanks for watching and may the force be with you.